even though the British ships were often slower, they could often, because they were better handled, they could creep up on a faster slave ship, now and then, anyway. And um, when it came time to fight, while it was risky for everyone, your chances of dying in this war were somewhat better if you were fighting on the wrong side. <laughs> and um, you can see that in the statistics of the various battles. And to give you some examples, October, the 18, October of 1828, His Majesty's ship Pickle <laughs> versus the slave ship Volador. The Pickle was a topsail schooner, that would mean triangular sails, I believe, uh, with three guns and 39 men. The slaver Valadora had been pierced for 16 guns, but it was actually mounting two 12-pounders, two 18-pounders, and carried a crew of about 62. The pickle pursued the slaver, and its hails were answered with musketry and a broadside. So it commenced firing at the spars of the slave ship, and the two ships engaged in continual fire at pistol range, until the main mast of the Valadora fell. On the Valadora, the slave ship, eight men were killed, the captain and seven men were wounded. On the pickle, one man was killed, nine wounded, and 335 captives were liberated. Um, the fight in my time travel story is based uh, mostly for, to get the proportions right, most of the details of the fight, I'm, of course, are a composite of several battles, but it's based on a fight between the British ship Monkey and the slave <laughs> ship Midas. Uh, the Monkey was a schooner, the smallest <laughs> ship in the British Navy, with five officers, 21 men, and one gun. And in my story, I have the gun mounted on a turntable, which is something I actually did there's no record of that in this case, so, but if it wasn't mounted on a turntable, they would have had to probably do some fancy sailing. <laughs> the slaver Midas carried 53 men, four 12-pound guns, and four 18-pounders. The uh, battle began with a broadside by the Midas, Midas followed by a 35-minute exchange. On the Midas, one man was killed and three wounded. On the uh, monkey, there were no casualties. 562 captives were rescued. September the 6th, 1830, His Majesty's ship Sloop Primrose versus the slaver Velaz Palasagora. A lieutenant from the Primrose boarded the slaver and he was denied three requests to inspect the ship. Um, he could see gunners standing by on the gun deck so he decided to leave and go back to his own ship. <laughs> the uh, Primrose followed the slaver through the night and then bore down on it the next day after more requests to be allowed to board and expect. The two ships exchanged broadsides, the Primrose closed to board. The commander of the Primrose led a boarding party, which actually had to go up to reach the enemy deck because their ship was a lot smaller. The commander, uh, was wounded in the neck, so a lieutenant took command, and after a fight, they took possession of the ship. The Primrose mounted 18 guns and had a crew of 135. The slaver had 20 guns with a crew of 150. On the slaver, 46 men were killed, six drowned, and many wounded. On the British ship, three men were killed, 12 <laughs> wounded, and 555 slaves were rescued. Um, as I said, the Congress of Vienna had failed to outlaw the slave trade. 